favorite Star Trek film? How does it compare to the last two? What are fans, which they be excited for? Well, I mean, this uh, story takes them off on the fabled mission, you know, by the way, that we always uh, spoke about at the beginning of the Christmas series. And um, yeah, looking at the, the, the time scale, uh, you know, the, the first two films do take place before the Friday night and stuff, and so um, we're finally off on it now, and we're sort of almost three years into it, and we joined them. And um, it was just a really fun prospect to get them out into the deeper part of the galaxy to, to, to face things they've never seen before, things we've never seen before, new enemies, things because they're just that old stuff that they always build with that stuff, right? Uh, and just um, have some real fun with it. You know, we wanted it to be exciting and adventurous. You know, with Jim Rodenbury spoke about in his whole sort of racket thing to the stars thing back in the day, which is getting the first out. He, he always talks about going to adventure and um, we, we like the idea of the fact that we can now with the technology available to us recreate these environments and these situations that I'm sure Robin would have liked to do. I love the fact that what we had to work with back in the day meant that we created this incredibly important for the theatrical show, which is what's been the fundamental of Star Trek. But for Doug and I, it's a bit of a let's take a story which is worthy of Star Trek and it's got to be incredible. Frankly, it's just in the sense of the story. It was weird. Not that JJ there, because JJ was like, the first few days were a bit more working on things like where JJ had been spending pictures of each other. Oh, yeah, it, it was literally that creepy. That, that was creepy. Uh, no, no, I saw when I started saying oh, it. It was weird. I'm sorry, that was weird. I thought it was fantastic, actually. Thank you for being on camera. Uh, do you want to add? Don't plan on you. That was the longest answer to any question ever. No, I thought the joke, the main body of the answer was pretty good. I thought the main body of the answer was pretty good. I thought the main body of the answer was pretty good. I thought the main body of the answer was pretty good. I thought the main body of the answer was pretty good. No, so it, it's really fun to see what Justin's doing. I think he's still, uh, he really is taking the stage for the place that, you know, it is bigger than it has gone before. I said it was before. I did. I never worked in the industry for a while. I never worked in the industry for a while. I never worked in the industry for a while. Right now, the film, I, I've seen two parts of the movie, and um, we were just doing a little bit of ADR spots in the middle of the day, which is going to be able to send a thing that needs to be kind of like paired up or, or, uh, or whatever. Uh, it's looking great. I mean, it's, you know, it's been such a huge deal just to be able to write a Star Trek film and the past that they had of the book and the film was just going to be successful. But it, it, it became the normal part. As soon as we got back to the world, it became the dark to me. The film was being much of the film. It's been great. It's been great. It's been great. It's been great. Yeah. Oh no, that was the first day of shooting. That was the first day of shooting in Vancouver. It's not going on. I swear to God, I'm happy with uh, the fact that it's still a mystery and, uh, uh, and whether or not it's done from the community or not. <laughs> <laughs> This always happens. It's an invariable part of the Yeah, no, but for, for the viewers, the uh, filmmaking often, when you, when you get into the edit, you, you look at the movie and you think, oh, we didn't get that reaction shot. Maybe this scene we could have brought in this you know, aspect of the, of the development plot. So, having had a cut of the movie, we were able to assess and thankfully given the freedom to go in and, and kind of like do touch up kind of thing, what we really have, which is a great opportunity. Um, and of course, when you when you write a screenplay and you film the whole thing, it's usually a lot longer than you know, it's better being, and it's better being to come down. And when you can't step out of the movie, you just have to go back in and sort of like make sure it's tense and make sure that. So it was just a bit of that, really. It's a, a very routine, very quick, and um, and, and fun thing to do. Because it's I think the term reshoot often feels like, oh, you've got to do it again. When in actual fact, it's more like, okay, you know, it's more like looking for the moments when the film can be sort of just finished. When you finish a cake and you just want to put an extra cherry on the top of the album, it's a good idea. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think when 
my when my when my Star Wars figure came through the post and my little Star Plus appeared and I was looking at this, that was quite good enough. It's amazing, but never uh, anything that I take for granted or, or, or sort of uh, flippant about. You know, we're being given uh, the keys to the Star Trek is an extraordinary privilege. I felt extremely, you know, it, 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 was, it was very important to me that we did it justice. You know, so, I know stuff that means a lot to a lot of different people. It means, it means um, an enormous amount of content. And at the same time, this is, this is a film that should be something that everybody can enjoy as well. So you, you have to look at a, a means of uh, writing this green play, which is at once an invitation to the um, um, you know, um, the Federation of Central. For those that have been in 50 years watching the show and loving it and knowing how to do so, and also with what's available to us now, the state of cinema is the best of the like combining, like combining the world of philosophy and the next of the best of the best with bigger stuff is this. But it's better to be killed in the guys who are in the cinema because they can get to each other and be able to do that. But that's not at the expense of the other stuff. It's important to start up with the right thought and the story that's very intelligent. I get annoyed when I see people saying, assuming because it's just the men, it's going to be all across the floors and stuff, it's such a kind of productive Just in just in sort of history of film, it's just a bit of fun that it's a really small sense of fun. If I didn't say it's going to be a giant, it's a fun series in the village, but still it's going to be a way to deal with the testing case. No, I mean, Justin had kind of clear ideas about a few of the other set pieces in the movie, and we would work with Justin in order to make sure that the story tracked through those moments. So if we had a big event, you know, we would make sure that I don't know, which will be tracked every single time to the next thing, and um, I try and make it work with just these ideas for sort of some of the visual stuff that we can use as well. So um, we knew exactly what they were, and then just in, once we've done the dialogue and we've done the story we've put in that, uh, that um, sequence, just in order to work with the previous guys and the effects guys and whoever else has done things to put it Yeah, it is. I'm not going to do it on Sunday, so if it's been on Monday, I'm not going to tell you something about that. Well, as far as I know, it's going at the end of the year. And, um, uh, I'm, I'm very excited to go back so soon. It feels like we're going to be shooting. I think we're still shooting the stuff. Well, no. <laughs> Yeah, we were, we, yeah, it was, it, because, because Tom decided he wanted to, and we all decided to, you know, the, the, the powers of the of which Tom is part of, uh, wanted the film to come out in the summer rather than the Christmas, because he was going to be a bit of a one horse race. Um, and so everything sped up, and we, we listened to that. I think they watched the final part of the movie the day before the country, but it worked. Thank you. 